Welcome to today's video, The Eames House, A Family Home. It's part of our celebration of the 70th year anniversary of the construction of the Eames House. My name is Lucia Dewey Atwood and I'm the director of the Eames Foundation's 250 year project. It's easy to think of the Eames House in isolation as an architectural landmark of steel and glass. But to Charles and Ray, it was simply home, a home that they shared with family, friends, and colleagues. My first stay was in 1958 when mom, Charles's daughter, Lucia Eames, my sister Carla, brother Byron, and I stayed at the Eames house for a summer. Charles and Ray welcomed us with a mountain of boxes that we could do with whatever we wanted. And a rope swing. Byron was fearless. It was magical. As years passed, Eames and Lisa joined in the fun. We often moved between the Eames house and the Eames office, simply part of the joyful web linking life and work. Their work became our play. When they were exploring the innovative SX-70 camera, they gave me a camera which I learned to use out in the meadow. And Lisa wrote a letter in the living room, filmed for one of the Eames's Polavision shorts. We all have our stories. For today's video, I'm happy to introduce Shelley Mills. She is married to Charles' grandson, Eames Demetrius, and has two children, and has been with the Eames house since shortly after Ray died in 1988. I hope you share my delight in seeing another generation experiencing the Eames house just as we did with Charles and Ray as a family home. Eames and I had, a, 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 had our child Xander in 1988, and then we thought, what the heck, we'll get married. <laughs> and and Lucia Eames thought that the Eames house would be a great place for that to happen, and it did. Um, it was a very lovely experience. Um, how could it not be? Um, and I don't know, we had maybe maybe 50 people were here. Um, Carla did a pretty amazing array of, or I don't know what you call it, a banquet um, out here. Um, I, I hired a piano player and rented a piano, which was up here on the, um, on the patio. Um, and, um, we had chairs down in the meadow and got married down under that big eucalyptus tree. It was, it was a pretty beautiful affair, I think. James and I had two small children, and we were up here a lot. Uh, and uh, my mother-in-law, Lucia Eames, was here a lot. Uh, it was, it very much felt like a family home. We would have dinners here. Typically, we, we might do that in the studio so the kids could be running around. We did try to keep the kids out of the house, especially the living room as much as possible, but I think they they were pretty good about realizing that that space was special. It wasn't like when they were at their house, um, where they had their things and they could move things around however they liked. Um, and, <laughs> um, and yes, they were sort of busy. But they had the whole meadow they could be busy in. They had birthday parties here um, when they were little. Uh, and we would invite all the kids from the preschool class or the 
their friends from kindergarten or wherever. Um, there were sack races and games out in the meadow, and, and of course the parents would come too, and it, it was quite jolly, and sometimes there were a lot of people here. <laughs> There was, there were forts. There was a tree fort that was built in one of the um, smaller trees down near the edge of the cliff, um, and that was one activity. I, I can't say it evolved too far, but there was a platform and a, a little uh, stair. It was there for a long time. I mean, nobody thought about taking it down, um, and every once in a while somebody would crawl up there to sit, but. Um, it basically kind of disappeared into the sh into the um, mm -hmm. shrubbery. Mm -hmm. In the mid '90s, there was uh, an eclipse that was going to be happening um, and it supposedly it would be a good view from from LA it wasn't a total eclipse but the kids our sons were up here and we went out it was in the afternoon and we went out on the um, out on the cliff and um, it was after the earthquake we went out on the cliff and um, in order to see the image of the shadow over the sun, you sort of had to build a, build a, a, construct a way to look at it without actually looking at it. So we had some boxes with a pinhole in them. <laughs> so there's some photographs of all four of us plus a few other people from the Eames office that came up because they wanted to look. Um, but there's some pictures of the kids with these big boxes kind of looking looking out to the sea so they could glimpse the eclipse sort of um, remotely. <laughs> <laughs>